Mamma mia, perché da tu sei un padre, tu mi fai vedere queste cose all'ultimo. Slaps against journalists are a widespread phenomenon across Europe, and Italy is not exempt from it. During the Media Freedom Rapid Response mission in Italy, journalists we met at the offices of the FNSI in Rome, as well as in the meeting held in Arzano, confirmed the extent to which slaps are used to silence their voices, stigmatize and intimidate them, and lead them to face long and costly legal proceedings, living under the threat of having to compensate exorbitant requests for damages, often amounting to thousands or even millions of euros. Under these circumstances, self-censorship is seen by many journalists in Italy as an obvious choice. In other cases, outlets and editors decide not to pursue or publish controversial investigations to avoid litigation, with an evident deep impact on the circulation of public interest information across the Italian society. Some of the calls raised by journalists and experts from media freedom organizations in Italy included the introduction of sanctions for claimants initiating slap cases, or the establishment of a fund to support journalists targeted with slaps. Article 19 believes this would be important steps to deter abusive legal claims and to support journalists, and we also call for an early dismissal procedure in slap cases. The European Commission recently released an anti-slap initiative at the European level, and the MFRR will monitor how Italy will take up its task to transpose these measures in its legislative framework to ensure the protection of journalists from slaps and the guarantee of the right to freedom of expression.